Every year, more than 50 million Americans get sick from their food, mostly in our own kitchens. So what are the mistakes that make us so sick? ABC's Elizabeth Leamy has been tracking them down with help from Consumer Reports. You know the usual suspects. The kitchen sink, scrub sponges, crevices and cutting boards, and America's most wanted, your dirty dish rag. You're saying not what? just icky, but what? dangerous. You want it? Well, if it makes you sick, if it gets too icky, it can be dangerous to your health. Now, Gail Williams of Consumer Reports and I are about to bust some more surprising offenders. Oh. First, there's a hotbed of suspicious activity on your countertops. Here's why. No! You see, food can contaminate your stuff, but your stuff can also contaminate your food. They don't have to take your word for it, because we have our black lights so we can see the germs. Those white spots are hidden gangs of germs on the purse, the glasses, and the phone. The solution, solitary confinement for all outsiders. Okay, Gail, that's number one. What's number two? Reusable grocery bags. Let your guard down and these sneaky smugglers will bring bacteria from the store right into your kitchen. There, yes. look at that. That's what goes right onto your counter when you put it straight onto your counter. Their sentence, a hard scrub with soap and water. Okay, Gail, what's next? Go to the refrigerator. Number three is refrigerators. A cold case, but maybe not cold enough to keep bacteria at bay. You want to make sure you have the proper temperature in your refrigerator. One way is to test it with an internal appliance thermometer. Okay. A few minutes later, we know this fridge has something to hide. This refrigerator right now is at 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Ultimately, you want to have it between 32 and 40 degrees. That's that. What else? Bad boy number four is downright trashy, your garbage. People open the door to the garbage, they throw something away, and they go right back to what they were cooking. <laughs> right. Even if you just touch the door your garbage is hiding behind, you need to wash your hands. Here's the proof. Let's flip off the regular light and on this black light. And oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh, geez. All right, Gail, you've shown us four hidden hazards in your kitchen. What is number five? It's you. Me? That's right, me or anybody with sticky fingers. Every time you come in and touch something or it brings, you, you're bringing in bacteria or germs that weren't here before. Let's play the surveillance tape back to see all the surfaces I touched while touring this kitchen. You ready for this? I'm ready. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we find fingerprint evidence all over the stove, the teapot, the fridge handle, the faucet, and an entire palm print on the counter. Wow. Now that is incriminating. That is my hand. Well, that's the proof that's going to convince people. Thank you so much. No, no, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I see your point. All right, I'll wash my hands. <laughs> Good idea. All right, in my own defense, I had put this glow-in-the-dark lotion on my hands before that shoot so we could demonstrate how you can spread germs throughout your kitchen, George. I'm afraid to do that in our kitchen, but tell us, there's an old-fashioned solution to all this. Yes, indeed, which is washing things more often than you think you need to. For example, this sink looks pretty clean to the naked eye, but lights, please. Get it with the black light, and all of those white spots represent bacteria. Ooh. Some germaphobes have actually started using one of these black lights to find the germs and scrub them away. Lights, please. And you can get one of these at a hardware store for about 15 bucks, George, if you're really paranoid. Wow, but that, that really shows something there, Elizabeth. Yeah. <laughs> wow, thanks very much. Wow. <laughs> it went off a lot. We have a lot more on this on goodmorningamerica.com, on Yahoo.